I'm Jeremiah Cornelius, a security architect with VMware, and I'm at RSA 2013 talking with Lee Weiner, the Senior Vice President for Products at Rapid7. So Lee, I think probably a security audience like we have here today is familiar with Rapid7 leadership and being able to do vulnerability assessment and compliance measurement uh, for software environments. They're probably not aware though of what Rapid7 has been doing in partnership with VMware and what that means in terms of delivering value for a software defined data set. I wonder if you could tell us a little about that. Yeah, so Rapid7 is focused on unified risk assessment, right? And that's across physical servers and desktops, mobile devices, as well as virtual uh, environments. And with the software defined data center becoming much more critical to infrastructure, understanding that risk, assessing that risk both for vulnerabilities and configuration is becoming increasingly critical to our customers and the people here. And so that's really what we're focused on around the center. And that's good that you mentioned the customer because one of the things I'd like to really uh, have you talk about and explain is where you see the customer value is. What do we do for them essentially by going on this joint partnership based on v-networking and security? Yeah. I think when the virtual environments with cloud environments with software defined data centers, you've got images being spun up a lot. So you want to know where, when they come up. Let me discover those images. Let me discover those virtual assets. And then once that happens, you want to assess them for configuration risk, security misconfiguration, vulnerability risk, applications, operating systems, and provide visibility into the security operations operations team, the network operations team, and the V admins to tell them, hey look, you know what, you probably should mitigate this risk through these steps, these remediation steps, to take care of that virtual environment as you would your physical environment, your mobile environment. And that's what Rapid7 can do for organizations today. It's great, and is there some specific sort of case study or a customer in particular yeah. where you can draw some of this out and show how it's actually been applied? Yeah, we've got a customer of the state and local government that has about 700 uh, VMware instances, large, right? And they've got physical uh, servers and desktops. And what they do with Rapid7 technology is they scan that infrastructure on a very frequent basis, again, to find out where their risk is both on the physical side, right? And then also where it is on the virtual side, in the software defined data center. When those images uh, get spun up, if they didn't know about them, they'll get some notification. And then if they want to scan them for those vulnerabilities and get a report, so a detailed remediation report on how to better manage that risk and mitigate that risk based on the findings. That's really interesting. I think um, I understand really what that value is. Um, also then how this continues to be delivered really as part of service in the infrastructure. Um, as we create more opportunities at VMware for this, what we're calling the software defined data center, interesting to see where you see this going and what is next out of this partnership, where you to drive something with us on top of the vCloud networking and security platform. Yeah, so Rapid7 and VMware uh, have a great partnership. And as we look at it going forward, we see a real opportunity to take that output from our uh, vulnerability assessment technology, our Nexpose product, that is scanning that virtual environment, right? Those images, those the uh, content that's in vCenter comes out with configuration uh, vulnerabilities as well as operating system vulnerabilities. That could be then fed into the virtual networking components to better mitigate risk, right? Because as we all know, you can't address all your vulnerabilities. Organizations here know that today, they're dealing with that a lot. But what they could do is they could put compensating controls in, in place based on the known vulnerabilities, right? They can do that with the network layer uh, and the software defined data center within VMware. And that's where, as we see the relationship going forward, the evolution going forward, we see an opportunity to so do that. So being able to drive config, continuing sort of configuration management yep. on an evolutionary basis rather than just an assessment of state and time posture. That's right. Me, that is really interesting and actually completes some of what we're capable of doing with a software defined data center yeah. with the knowledge, expertise, and leadership that comes out of somebody like Rapid7. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'd like to thank everybody for being able to join us here at RSA 2013, Rapid7, and VMware.